Hey beautiful, so today I received my order from Sephora and it's some new goodies. Well, two new goodies. So I did place an order for the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I was debating on whether or not to get it because I was like, oh my gosh, Alexis, you already have enough highlighters, but it's Nicole Guerrero. So I was like, okay, I have to get it. So I did place the order on the Sephora app. So I got early access. And I also purchased the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is Halo. The swatch of this sold me so i'm hoping it's beautiful on my skin tone i also picked up the hourglass vanish seamless foundation stick i did get the shade honey really hope i do like this a lot of people rave about it i also picked up another foundation this is the estee lauder double wear stay in place foundation i did get the shade shell beige let me know if you guys would like to see a review on this baby right here since a few of you have been asking me to review that okay so let's begin i'm like oh i want to play already so going in with my hourglass this is the mineral primer i did get this at the creator event when i went to california so i will be priming my face using this primer it's really nice and i like how it's glass so oh yeah it feels like silk on your face it almost feels like a powder like it feels it feels creamy and then once you apply it to your face and like blend it in it feels like a powder okay so here is the packaging it's really nice i like how it's the triangle <gasps> It's really nice it feels a little heavy not too heavy still feels light uh some people were saying it was really heavy but i don't know why i feel like maybe because i got big hands it doesn't feel heavy i don't know but let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see the coverage okay so here is my face no foundation nothing this side too and i did get the shade honey so let's apply it oh it looks so pretty i'm nervous i hope it's my shade i really do that will be very sad if it's not. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but I will, yeah, I, this is definitely gonna be a little bit too dark for me. I will lighten it up with concealer and all of that. It felt pretty thick blending it in, like going pa pa pa. It felt really thick. It didn't feel like if it was too light, like it's like, felt good, you know? So going in with a beauty sponge. Here it is, foundation, no foundation, foundation, no foundation. So it definitely did give me some coverage light coverage i know you can build the coverage up because i've seen it so many i've seen it on so many tutorials where people build it up so i'm pretty excited so i do want to go in with the scylla sponge i want to see if the beauty sponge soaked up a lot of the product so here we go it's so crazy i get to do like those lines that the cool youtubers do it's like ha 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 okay now going in with this Okay, and there's this side. I think when I use this foundation, I think I will use this baby right here. Just because I feel like I'll have to use more of the foundation if I use a beauty sponge. And the foundation is pretty pricey, so uh, I want to make sure that I don't waste any. So I will be using this baby. You guys let me know which side you guys like. This side? Or this side. Okay, so now to highlight. I will be using my Kat Von D Lock It In Concealer. And the shade I use is M25 Warm. Okay, so I don't want to set my under eyes just yet because I do want to go in with the Cover X Custom Enhanced Drops. So this is how it looks. So freaking cute. And the, I don't know, it just looks like unicorn pee. Would it be pee or would I say? What would it be like? I want to say like tear. Oh, it looks like unicorn tears. There you go. That sounds a lot more cuter, like Susan P. Gosh, you're such a cochina. Okay. So there it is right there. Look how pretty. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then go in with 
the back of the beauty sponge. So there it is. Oh, I like the way that looks. Okay, so I just added some mascara to my bottom lashes, but I like the way it looks. It's not too much. I feel like if you go too heavy with this on my skin complexion, I feel like it'll kind of look ashy, but if you just add just a little bit, you can pull it off. Now, moving on to the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. So here it is. Ooh. You open it up and this is how it looks. So freaking pretty. So here is Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. So going off the swatches, I think I will be applying Glow Getter. Boom, boom, here we go, okay? Here we go. So I just straightened my hair. What I have to say so far about the foundation, I like the way it is sitting on my face. It looks really nice and really natural. It doesn't look too cakey or anything. It just looks flawless. So I'm loving that so far. So for the highlighting palette, I did like. It's not glittery, glittery. It doesn't have like chunks of glitter in it. It just glides on the face like butter. The swatches were amazing. And just with the, like the swatches when I swatched Glow Gitter, it was really pigmented. And then when I applied it on my face, it was the same. So I was really excited about that. Because sometimes when you swatch something, the pigment is a lot more... It's more pigmented on your finger than when you swatch it like on your eye but this was perfect it was like boom it swatched amazing so if you guys are debating on getting it or not i say get it and come on you're supporting nicole get it out them like she's so freaking gorgeous i love her love her love her love her and for the cover at x custom enhancer drops i thought this was pretty cool okay it's like unicorn I, unicorn tears, doesn't say P again, unicorn tears, really pretty, something that I don't have in my collection, so I'm pretty excited, I'm not going to reach for it all the time, of course, but it's just something neat to have in your collection if you don't have something like it, is it a need, no, but being a makeup porter, it's like everything is a must, you know what I mean, so I do like this, as for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, let me know down below if you guys would like me to try that out. I'm pretty excited about that. And as for the Hourglass Foundation, I did get Honey, but I think it was a little bit too dark for me. But now looking at it, I think it looks fine. I don't know. You guys let me know down below if I look too orange or if it looks okay. Because, yeah, I was kind of like, uh, when I was applying it because it looks orange but it looks good so far. I like it. So I will leave an update down below in the description box letting you guys know how it lasted throughout the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated with my videos. Make sure to hit the bell down below if you guys would like to be notified when I do post a video and I'll see you guys in the next one.